So last week I did a video on comparing React and Angular and Vue developers in the back were like, but what about Vue? So I hear you in this video, let's do a comparison of React and Vue this time, which one you should learn in 2021. All right, so let me start by telling you a joke, one that I've heard in a different different category or different topic before, and I'm just kind of applying it to, uh, to Vue. So the joke is, how do you find out if someone is a Vue developer? Don't worry, they'll tell you. <laughs> and that's exactly what we saw in that Angular versus React video. Everybody in the background was like, Vue, what about Vue? But you forgot Vue and, and Vue and Vue and Vue and Vue and whatever. So now we're doing React and Vue. And this is kind of a cool thing because this is like doing Angular and React doesn't exclude Vue. It just means between those two. But now we can dive over, switch over, and now throw Vue into the context. So let's start with an overview. Did an overview of React uh, before, but let's just kind of do that again. Created by Facebook uh, several years ago, extremely popular. I would uh, say is the most popular front end framework there is. Um, not really much baked into uh, React as a whole. It's kind of like you have to go out and find the different pieces to put together. Uh, it's pretty lightweight in terms of, again, not much stuff baked in and it's pretty easy to get started with. And I'll switch over to Vue. Instead of being created by a big company, a big corporation like Facebook, uh, Vue was created by Evan Yu, uh, kind of one person. And there's a big community around Vue of uh, the official core team, people like Sarah Drasner being one of those big names. And so it's got lots of, uh, lots of really good support, as you would imagine. Documentation uh, is really good, really easy to use. I think this is one of the big things uh, that people love about Vue is how easy it is to get up and running, probably a little bit easier than React. And if you go back to that previous video, Someone commented that the comparison of Angular JS to Vue was a terrible comparison. Well, no, not really, because uh, Evan Yu even says that uh, Vue is really inspired by the good parts of Angular JS. So for whatever that's worth, uh, not a whole lot baked into Vue, kind of similar to React, but they do have some officially supported packages for things like routing and uh, state management and that sort of stuff. So let's look at uh, kind of the, the learning curve. I, I think these are kind of in a category of their own versus Angular. Angular, I would say, adds a bunch of stuff on, on top of just kind of learning a framework. A, or React and Vue. Now, I, I would say they're pretty comparable. People really harp on Vue for being easy to learn, but I, I feel like the concepts are pretty similar. There's not a whole, there's not a whole lot of additional layers on top of uh, just kind of writing JavaScript and knowing how that stuff works. So I would say they're relatively... Uh, comparable in terms of ease of use or uh, learning curve, uh, maybe a little bit of an edge there to view just because that's what people seem to really rave about with you. And now let's get into the ecosystem. And I think this is one of the, the most fun aspects of these two frameworks is the ecosystem is really, really huge. Uh, with React, I talked about this in the last video, there's lots of different frameworks built on top of React, Next.js and Gatsby.js being uh, two of the really top, most popular, really kind of comp competing in some ways frameworks with React. There's also a couple of newcomers like Redwood JS and Blitz JS. And then on the Vue side, you see things like Nuxt and Gritsum. And it's really interesting for Vue because Nuxt is basically the equi the Vue equivalent of Next.js. And then Gritsum is more or less the Vue equivalent of Gatsby JS for React. So if you look at that, like as the ecosystem, uh, one, both are both are very popular. And then if you look at frameworks built on top of them to help do some of those things that extra things that you might be looking for, uh, both have those like kind of static site generated uh, targeted framework, not, not that that's all it does in Gatsby and Gritsum, and then a more flexible dynamic framework in Next and Nuxt. Again, not that they can't do static stuff, but that's kind of what they're geared towards. So you have a lot of those options. The one thing I do kind of notice though, is you don't really see like there's Redwood JS and Blitz JS on the React side. I haven't really seen an equivalent of that on the view side. So I would say React as an ecosystem has a few more options, a few different competing frameworks on top of it than, than Vue does. But again, lots of support out there, lots of different options, lots of frameworks for you to choose from and work with. One of the things I think is really cool with Vue is when you get the CLI, you also get a GUI uh, that runs in the browser uh, to manage your projects, to create projects, and then be able to see your projects. And it's kind of cool, like as a as a developer, I don't I don't necessarily think I would use it that much, just because I don't I don't really need help running a, uh, an npm install command uh, for a package or an npm start command that sort of stuff. Uh, but it is kind of cool, I think, a little added thing. If you if you like it, you can use it. If not, then uh, no worries. So ecosystem really really cool for both of these. And then we get into the community, and uh, again, same sort of thing here. Both extremely popular. 
view and react. The, uh, the meetups that you'll find, the online events, the talks that you'll see, the conferences that you'll see, uh, really, really popular. And one interesting note here, though, is that Vue has the most stars on GitHub of like Angular React Vue or specifically more than React. And that's kind of cool. And I think that's really telling for Vue as a community. One of the things I've learned is that people who get exposed to Vue, people who try Vue, I think love Vue and are more passionate about Vue than people who go the React route. In some ways, React is just, it's kind of the easy path. It, you'll see the most content on React, you'll see more content on React than Angular. You'll see the most content. So it's kind of the easiest path to go, but people who do venture out and go that path of working with Vue tend to love it more. And if we look at look up uh, the state of JavaScript 2019, I'm gonna pull some numbers for you. Uh, with React, 71%, uh, almost 72% of people had uh, experience with React, had used React before. Vue.js is only 40% of people, but and the additional category, how do they phrase this, of uh, heard of you and interested, there's 34% of people that have heard of you and, and that are interested in that category of people who voted on Vue. So I think it's one of those things where Vue just has this reputation of being so good that people who use it love it and they tell people about it. And then people hear that and they're like, oh, I, I want to use that too. And that's kind of the position that I'm in as well. So maybe should have like qualified this whole video with I don't use Vue very much myself. I want to use it more. But I'm, I'm really in that thing of, like I said, I want to use it more. I hear so many good things. I want to invest more into it. And I think that's kind of where we see Vue uh, for the time being, honestly. And that gets into the last point here, which is job opportunities. And I, I, I just don't think it's really debatable that there's more job opportunities with React. And if you take a practical standpoint, if you're, if you're, learning, uh, if you're learning a framework and your goal is to get a job, I, go react. You're not really going to sacrifice anything on like which framework is better. You can debate that all day long. Uh, let me know in the comments. Obviously, people of Vue are super passionate because they let me know without even talking about Vue in the last video. So leave that in the comments. That's great. We can have that debate. But like, there's no answer to that. Like, You can prefer one or the other, and that's cool. But there's no real answer. So if you come down to like a practical standpoint and your goal is to get a job, learn React, like hands down, just learn React. There's more job opportunities. There's more content out there to learn from. Not that there's not amazing content with Vue and not that there's not jobs for Vue, but there's more with React. And that's just that's just kind of a fact. That's just something that you, uh, you take and run with. Now, if your goal is not necessarily to get a job, like if your goal is not just to open up as many opportunities as possible, I pick, like pick which one you think is the most exciting. And, and I can, I will bet that Vue will continue to grow uh, as more people use grow. It will continue to grow with more people using it and having experience with it. You'll see more job opportunities. So it's not a bad investment to learn Vue as well. Like I give you one of these like kind of back and forth answers because it really doesn't matter. They're both great frameworks. They both have great communities. They both have a great ecosystem. They both have great support. Go and find one. Honestly, just like pick one and go with it. Find a tutorial that you think is fun and, and do a little comparison. Try out React. Do the same application, a to-do app in React and a to-do app in Vue and just see which one clicks more with you. A lot of it comes down to like, what do you resonate most with? And if you just give yourself a little bit of time to experience that and test it out, do a little bit on each, then you can make that decision and you can have a little bit more of an opinionated uh, view, pun intended, on which one of these you think is the best. So all in all, my takeaway, React and Vue, both are great frameworks. People, I guarantee you, people on the Vue side or in the comments are going to be like, Vue is just hands down better than React. It's just, it's not really true. It's an opinion. And if that's how you feel, that's great. But they're pretty comparable. They're pretty well supported. They're majorly popular. But React is going to have more job opportunities at the end of the day. So if that's your goal, think about that, consider that, but you can't really go wrong. So that is React versus Vue. If you'd like to see, I haven't done this, a Angular versus Vue. And if you'd like to see an Angular versus React versus Vue, uh, let me know in the comments below. Let me know which one you prefer between, God, I got to get it right now, React and Vue. And let me know what other sort of comparison videos you would like to see in the future. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're excited for 2020 as a big year to really dive into some frameworks, build some core skills, get a great job if that's your goal, or just like build some fun stuff. I hope you're able to do all of that in 2021. Thanks for hanging out and watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.